Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Mental Complex here, and I'm just a little tiny bit under the weather, so my voice sounds a little bit different than usual. Sorry about that. I'm fine, it's mainly allergies. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. This was sent to me, um, I know exactly what this is. Uh, this was sent to me by Tour Knives, who reached out to me and said, do you have any interest in taking a look at one of our models? I looked through and found something that I thought was really spectacular, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I will, uh, you can check this out on the Tour Knives website. Uh, that's T-O-O-R, Knives. Check out their website, check out their Instagram, absolutely. These are made in the United States. I'm really excited uh, to take a look at this for myself as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. So, uh, this is a fixed blade. Look at that sheath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do a lot of fixed blades on this channel. It has to be something really, really cool if I'm going to share a fixed blade. Um, but this did look very nice to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so ch hang on, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the Field 2.0. They have a Field 1.0 that's a little bigger, but I liked the size of this one. Look at the copper liners there on either side of the tang. And then we have this sculpted, I believe, this is G10. This is the first time I've ever handled it. This is not a review. Not a review. This is the first time you're ever watching my channel. I like to unbox stuff blind because then I feel like, you know, I, I kind of get to experience all, you know, everything about the knife all at once, right then and there in the moment. And then I take some time, two, three, four weeks to sort of get to know the knife, experience it a little bit. Uh, and then I do a full comprehensive review. So this is just a first impressions video. I don't know anything about it other than I think I remember they said... They told me what the blades do. It's a CPM 154. Gosh, I hope I'm correct. That is a beautiful, beautiful fixed blade. Do we have information here? So there's your price. Uh, the Field 2.0 Shadow Black. Uh, $295. Keep in mind, this is a U.S.-made knife. Um, do we? Oh, we have a little bit of frog lube, which is wonderful stuff there. Um, do we have a little... Uh, the guarantee card. Okay, there we go. There's some information uh, for you guys. Info at tourknives.com if you have any questions. Uh, we have a little cleaning cloth, all right? And we've got a sticker in here. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably have put a caption with the blade steel. Let me tell you guys this. The reason I chose this one and not the two, they, they have a larger one. I chose this one because with fixed blades, to get me, like, to get myself to use a fixed blade. I'm not the type of person who needs a fixed blade day to day. But if I'm going to use one, I like them to be a little bit on the smaller side. This isn't a massive knife. Gosh, I love that. The sheath there. Um, this is one that I would just carry in my pocket. I like I like that. Definitely a full four finger grip, a nice robust plate stock. I'm going to guess that's about 190 thousandths. Big fan of uh, the blade shape. The edge is done beautifully. Oh man. In fact, the whole blade looks really, really nice. I don't know what this is coded in. When, when I do the review, uh, we'll have a lot more information here. I just really, in particular, like the way that they sculpt the scales. And then I love the, the little copper liners underneath there. There's plenty of handle to hang on to. And this is definitely, I'm not going to call it an aggressive texturing. It's just the depth between the peaks and, and uh, well, the valleys, the depth of the valleys in relationship to the height of the peaks on the uh, texturing here really makes you feel like you're locked in. The jimping extends to a nice meaningful part on the spine of the blade. Uh, yeah, this is a knife that I don't think I'd shy away from. I mean, it's it's on the smaller side, but the geometry and materials here, again, I believe this is CPM 154, but I could be mistaken. Um, this is the type of knife that would be like all purpose, you know, use it for anything. On top of that, it's also a really handsome fixed blade. Um, I'm really happy that Tour Knives reached out to me. It's it, it's very rare that I will... Re a lot of you guys know I recently just unboxed a bunch of hinderer fixed blades. Well, that's because they're hinderers. <laughs> Normally, I am a folding knife channel. Fixed blades generally <coughs> do not interest me because there's just... It takes a, a much more spectacular aesthetic um, to, to get me to, uh, be drawn in by it. But this one has that, uh, you do have other options besides black. 
Um, so I'd, I'd, you know, suggest that you guys check those out. They do have folding knives as well. Um, I will uh, um, provide links for tour knives down in the description so you guys can go and check out uh, these knives. In the meantime, um, I will be, you know, doing my usual thing, sort of learning about this guy, uh, preparing a full review for you guys. But this is really cool. I'm, I'm always happy to see newer, and I don't know how long Tour Knives has been around, but I'm always happy to see at least new to me, USA, uh, you know, manufacturers, USA companies. Um, definitely a big supporter of that. Of course, I'll review things from any part of the world as long as they are, you know, of reasonable to high quality. That's the kind of stuff I like to show here. Uh, yeah, but quality on this guy is definitely there. This is definitely a um, a nicer, you know, more attention paid to uh, sort of fixed blade than I um, have, you know, than the stuff that bores me, right? Big fan of the fasteners, big fan of the lanyard uh, position and Really, you know, the copper liners, again, it just looks really cool. All right, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for now. Expect a full video on this guy down the road. Uh, thanks again to Tour Knives for sending this in for me to take a look at. Be sure that you guys follow them on Instagram. Check out their website. Do my best to link uh, their stuff down in the description. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.